Hi again then guys, and so we've got another special projects replica style build for you today. And this time it's a replica of a pretty obscure version of a car which we have quite a few models of featured on the game. And it's the Mitsubishi Evo, specifically the Evo 6. But the replica that we are building today is of a very, very rare model called the Evo 6 Extreme. And that sounds like kind of a weird name to call it. It's not just something I've named it. That is the actual name of the car. But basically, this model was the vehicle which kind of preceded the FQ400, or what would come to be the legend of the FQ400 models. And although it's not an FQ400, it gives you that kind of performance and those kind of upgrades that you would usually expect from an FQ400 with the upgraded bodywork, the insane acceleration, etc. And this vehicle in real life can actually hit 60 in 4 seconds dead, straight out of the factory. It's a pretty crazy car. And it's kind of surprising that they don't already feature it on the game. Now in order to build this replica, I would recommend using the premium spec Evo 6, the Tommy Mackinnon edition. And I've gone for the version with the optional side stripe as well, because that does look more accurate to the actual extreme model. Now as far as the looks... I would recommend fitting the optional chin splitter because it makes it look more like the actual car. I wouldn't recommend the flat floor and as far as the rims I've gone for Oz Ultra Legera rims in the second highest rim size, the inch up one option and I've left them the chrome that they already come in because funnily enough the rims on the actual car are kind of chrome which is sort of surprising for an Evo but it looks kind of good. Now I've only ever seen one of these on the road and it actually had lime green wheels instead and it looked really good with those as well. So there is some room for personal variation although obviously that was an aftermarket option. I've painted it silver because it's one of the colours basically that the Extreme was finished in. So as far as silvers there's quite a lot to choose from. I've gone for liquid silver but as I said there are loads of silvers to choose from on the game and plenty of them look very good. So, there's no real need to go over to the visual tuning garage, because as I mentioned, it's a relatively simple setup in that regard. So, we'll go straight over to the mechanical garage for the replica of its performance, and then of course take it out to the track to see just how extreme this Extreme Evo is. Now, I always of course like to make my builds as PP relevant as possible, and thankfully this one is 485 PP, Perhaps not as high as you might expect, given how fast this vehicle is, but that can actually be quite beneficial if you need a slightly lower PP racer with some serious power and performance. Now, I've gone for sports soft tyres because it's more of a street-based tune. As far as the brakes, we've left those stock because, as usual with these replicas, you don't want to make it feel too good. If you do plan to race it, then of course you could fit it with racing brakes, but this is purely the replica part. As far as the suspension, you want to even out the ride height a little bit because the Extreme model doesn't have that kind of snowplow stance that the normal car has with the slammed front end and the raised back. So we've lowered the back down to 80, raised the front to 110. Now it's still a little bit lower at the front, funnily enough, but it looks a lot more accurate to the real car. Springs we've increased to 575 and 525. The dampers to 4, anti-roll we've left on 3, Neutral camber, neutral toe. We'll come back to the gearbox in just a second. For the diff, I've put the initial torque on 10 on the front, 5 on the rear, just to stiffen up that front end a bit, make it lead with the front wheels more. Acceleration, we've got on 40, braking on 20, a torque distribution setting of 40, 60. And as with the brakes, we've left the clutch, flywheel, and prop shaft stock because it's more of of course a production tune. Now I have gone for an oil change on this one, then we've gone for intake tuning and reduced the power down to 340 horsepower, which is the actual power of the real model, and given its performance, it's pretty impressive for the amount of power that it has. I've put the downforce up to the maximum, you want the full weight loss package, I've left the bonnet stock because you don't want the bonnet pins on this one, and upgraded the window weight then you want to give it a 167 kilo ballast we put that all the way to the back to improve the weight distribution and bring us up to the actual weight of the real Evo 6 Extreme 
which is 1,285 kilos. Finally, for our gearbox, you pretty much just want to leave it stock, because although it's not necessarily exactly the same, it's about as close as you can get to the real car with the settings that you need. Now, you could of course go for completely different gearing, but that's the most accurate. So do what you need to do, but for the specific replica, I'd recommend leaving it stock. So that's it overall for the mechanical replica of the car. Pretty simple one overall as far as replicas go. So now let's finally of course take it out to a racetrack to see just how good it is. Now overall, this car has really good power, really low weight for what it is, and it's an Evo, so handling is pretty much guaranteed. And at the 485 pp level, it's a really good car. The handling is superb on this vehicle, there's tons of grip, pretty much regardless of what tyres you use. You can actually get the tail to step out as well, get a little bit of drift action in there also. And overall, I quite like this car. I'm surprised that they haven't featured it on the game. It seems to be quite a special version of the Evo 6, which just seems to be the obvious choice of featuring on the game, but for whatever reason, they chose not to. Overall, visually, it's a very, very close replica of the car, and the performance feels exactly as good as you'd expect it to. So if you do decide to use this replica of the Evo 6 Extreme model, obviously I hope you find it fun, and it will definitely be competitive in racing. So if you'd like to keep up with other replicas like this in the future, be sure to hit subscribe down below to keep up with those as soon as they're released. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.